Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. I am Gio Lacanlale, Account Sales Manager for Elsevier Clinical Solutions, and I will be your host and moderate for the session. The last 15 months have presented us, both nationally and globally, with unforeseen challenges created by the exponential spread of COVID-19. We've had to find ways, uh, new ways to live, work, teach, and learn as we continue to fight the spread of the virus and emerging variants. I know uh, there has been significant adjustment for you and your team as educators with the rapid move to remote learning and teaching with increased demands on your time to engage and support your students. Students, on the other hand, are struggling with the new and evolving context in which they now learn and to find interactive learning opportunities to motivate them. In order to support the new normal of teaching and learning during this difficult time, we are here to talk more about Complete Anatomy, the world's most advanced 3D anatomy platform, and how to integrate this to your curriculum. First off, let me introduce our guest speaker for this afternoon session. He is a medical physician by profession. He is a graduate of BS Physical Therapy and Doctor of Medicine from the De La Salle Medical Health Sciences Institute. Uh, he completed his MA in Health Professions educa Education from the University of the Philippines, Manila. He is a diplomat and fellow of the Philippine Society of Anatomists, a certified student affairs specialist. He is a former executive secretary of the Philippine Society of Anatomists, current course director for the physician licensure exam in the Philippines, a member of the admissions committee as well as the medical education unit, uh, and the vice dean of the De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute. Let me introduce everyone to Dr. Julius Cesar H. Reyes. Before Dr. Julius begins his presentation, I would like to request everyone to type in your questions on the uh, Q&A chat box, and we will try to get through all the items at the end of the session. Thank you. Good day to everyone. I am Dr. Julius Reyes, a faculty of the Department of Anatomy of the De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute, College of Medicine. The current pandemic has dramatically forced all institutions to come up with innovations in teaching anatomy in medical and health allied courses. In an attempt to decrease human mobility, teaching institutions have shifted mostly to remote and home-based learning. This entails search for a suitable technology that would replace temporarily the traditional way of teaching the subject matter. Our situation here in the Philippines is not different from what is being experienced in the neighboring countries in Southeast Asia, as well as other continents of the globe. I know that each one of us have our own stories to share on how we adapt to the current change of time. And I think this is the best opportunity to share best practices to show that despite the difficult and challenging situation, our passion to teach the young minds is still being realized. The De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute College of Medicine is just one of the 53 institutions offering the Doctor of Medicine program here in the Philippines. Just like any other institutions, anatomy is one of the basic sciences offered among first-year medical students. The anatomy course is usually delivered in two semesters, and the subject is divided into three section units, and these are histology, the gross anatomy, and clinical embryology. The topics are usually organized in a system-based modular type of delivery, and face-to-face -face didactic sessions are the mainstream for teaching and learning strategy, mostly done in a large group setting. Topic sessions are usually coupled with a laboratory session in which 
Traditional human cadaveric dissection is being conducted, facilitated, and guided by anatomy instructors. Other small group activities employ the use of digital human anatomy table, which further improve their learnings on the anatomical structures. Now, at the end of each module, students are assessed with a summative written exam and a time mode practical exam. And then COVID-19 hit us in March of last year. Then things changed dramatically. Large group didactic sessions, as well as cadaveric human dissections, were suspended for the fear that students will contact the disease. When students lost access to dissection rooms, they lost access not only to cadavers, but also to a range of other optimal learning modalities such as prosections, models, organ specimens, skeletons, and others. It was highlighted that the modern medical curriculum already restricts students' exposure to anatomy and indeed this pandemic has further shortened the contact time the current students have received. As mandated by the higher governing bodies here in the Philippines, all medical institutions were ordered to shift to remote, home-based, or online learning. Luckily, before the pandemic, our institution have been using a learning management system incorporated in our curriculum. But when we shifted to the online learning strategy, the usage of learning management system became fully maximized. We use Moodle as our learning management system. And what our institution did was to train our medical faculty to convert their lectures into a pre-recorded video materials. And these video materials was uploaded using the learning management system. The video materials and topics were organized into modules similar to what we have organized during the face-to-face -face encounter. Two phases of learning was adapted the asynchronous learning and the synchronous learning phase. During the asynchronous phase, students were given several days to access all uploaded learning materials found in the learning management system. Formative assessments in the form of simple tasks were also incorporated at the end of each topic to provide knowledge check on their learnings. During the synchronous session, integration of learned topics is being conducted. In the session, students were given the opportunity to ask questions for concepts that they did not understand during the asynchronous phase. The College of Medicine is using the Microsoft Teams as the online platform for the delivery of the synchronous session. Since human dissection is no longer possible, the Department of Anatomy came up with innovative strategies that would augment students' learning. Of course, we cannot permit students to bring home prosected specimens or even require them to buy their own digital anatomy table. Of course, that is very impractical. One strategy was to use a digital app that is similar to the digital anatomy table that we used to have. And that application should be readily available and easily installed in their own respective gadgets or device and very much accessible in their own remote locations. So how did we choose that digital app? So we use several parameters. First that we consider is that that particular application or digital device should be easily installed and very easy to use. Although students are mostly tech-savvy, but we also have to consider the faculty who will be using the application as well. Second, the app should demonstrate content accuracy. Third consideration is that images or the projected structures should demonstrate clarity and easy recognition. And the last consideration is that the app should be dynamic in a sense that it can be installed in any device. You can bring the app anywhere. And for the faculty, 
the application should be a good resource material for teaching. After a thorough search, we were able to find this application. And this application is being developed by Elsevier, and this is the 3D Medical Complete Anatomy 2021. This is available for both the iOS and Android platform. So how did we acquire this application? Initially, when I was testing this application, I purchased this on my own. But when we were about to decide to provide our first year students to have this application, then we avail of the institutional account. We coordinated the institutional purchase of this application through the help of our library service. So before purchasing the product, we asked Elsevier to demonstrate the application among our anatomy faculty. So later, Alex, one of our resource speaker for this afternoon, will be demonstrating the product to us. So how did we acquire the institutional subscription? So we coordinated the purchase through our library and made this application as one of uh, the resource subscription of the library. Now through the institutional subscription, the College of Medicine were given the accounts and these individual accounts were provided to all first year students and all of our faculty teaching the subject matter. Each of our students were instructed to download the application using their official username and passwords that were provided to them initially. Once the app was activated, they have now the access to the complete features of the complete anatomy application for one year. Now for the faculty, a special account was given so that we can access the curriculum manager. So Alex will be showing this for you later. So the curriculum manager allows the faculty to create learning activities and tasks for the students. You can create lectures, formative assessments, and other teaching and learning activities. Once you have that, you can share those activities with the student. So how do I teach using the application? The application works well with the newest generation of iPads if you're using Apple, and it works well with the pen. I usually use the pen to create annotations and the image. This is my usual setup in teaching anatomy using the complete anatomy application. I usually launch the program using my iPad tablet so this is where I navigate the application, create annotations using my pen. In addition, I also use the Microsoft Teams to share my work and broadcast the images to my students. So the good thing about the Microsoft Teams is that it allows the user to join several of their devices using just one account. So my MS Team in my iPad is open as well as in my laptop. So with the same account, I open it using my laptop for two reasons. One, so that I can see how my images are projecting to the students. And second, so that I can see my students and have interactions with them. So images that is found in our textbook. These are 2D textbook images and I find this very static. Um, you are limited to structures that were only projected on a particular plane. Although there are more sophisticated and much detailed uh, images, it still lacks the depth dimension. So what I love about this application is that it has the capacity to demonstrate all dimensions in a 360 degree view. Another feature of this application that I love is that it allows you to manipulate the projected image and isolate structures the way how you desire it to appear. So eight months after we have provided our students with the complete anatomy application, we conducted a survey to see their feedback and reactions with regards to their utilization of the app. So from the survey, we were able to get 256 respondents among first-year students who were enrolled in the anatomy course for the academic year 2020-2021.
So in terms of uh, the number of gadgets to which they installed the complete anatomy application, majority of them installed the application using one gadget, 31.25% uh, with two gadgets, and 6.25% uh, among our respondents installed the application with three gadgets. Majority of our students installed the complete anatomy application using their iPad and their laptops. And more than 90% of them agrees that the complete anatomy application works well with their uh, respective gadgets. Most of them also agree that the application is easy to use. I also look at their utilization of the application for each of our module and it shows that the application was well utilized during the musculoskeletal and the head and neck modules and moderate utilization among the other modules. Now comparing the performance of our students in the end of module exams in terms of utilization and non-utilization of the app, it showed that no significant statistical difference in the end of module exam performance among students who utilizes complete anatomy and those who did not. A major reason for this is that the learning of students for each module is not solely from the usage of complete anatomy. There are other resource materials um, available to them that contributed to their learning, such as the uploaded video lectures created by the faculty and other provided instructional materials. Now, comparing uh, the anatomy academic performance of our students who frequently use the application versus those who rarely use the app among the modules showed also no statistic, significant statistical difference. Again, the academic performance of the students cannot be attributed to the use of the app, but their performance can be multifactorial. But for students' perspective, approximately 90% agree that the application was able to help them in understanding the anatomical concepts. They also agree that the content is consistent with what is read in the textbook and what is taught in them in the online lectures. Majority agreed that the application was able to improve their performance in the end of module assessments. However, students still feel that they still need human cadaveric dissection. When asked if they will recommend the application for future medical students, majority of them said yes, that they will recommend this application to the future generation of medical students. So thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Good afternoon to everyone. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Julius, for that very insightful feedback on complete anatomy so far. So just to inform everyone, the usage statistics that Dr. Julius uh, shared with everyone is a, was an independent survey uh, of De La Salle and Del Severe didn't have any uh, assistance on, on that specific survey. And now to provide us with a complete anatomy demo, product demo, uh, let me turn you over to Alex Wong product sales manager for Complete Anatomy. Alex? Yep. Uh, yep. Good afternoon. Um, so let me try to share my screens. Uh, um, Joe, do you mind to let me share my screen? Okay, thank you everyone. So thanks for your time to attending for today's session and thanks for Dr. Julius for the great presentations and, and sharing his experience at how complete anatomy could be helped in his um, curriculum teachings. So for today that I will try to demonstrate some of the function that Dr. Julius tried to mention just now. So this is the patch that for the complete anatomy, the landing patch that for the whole device. So they will be categorized with the different kind of content and also the function. 
So most of the time they will just click on the module. So this is where we can see the 3D models with the structure. So here the, at the bottom of the, structure, uh, the, the screen, you can see a lot of the system, different kinds of systems that um, you, uh, just the user can just add on the system layer by layer according to their requirements. So they have the blood supply, the nerves, the lymph system, even the respir uh, respiratory system. So it's covered different kind of the needs of the system for different uh, teaching. So here at the, at the models, I just click on the structure that I want to share. I want to display. So the left hand side will show the panel that include all the information uh, uh, about the selected structure. So they also have different kind of the, uh, options to present like isolate, you can hide the structures or you can, you can fade the structures. So there's a lot of the options that for the user to, to edit or even try to show their, uh, their, their data, that, uh, the, the structure they want. So in the info box, we have the different kind of the, uh, inf uh, options. So they have the also, ha other than the basic information of the selected structure, they also have the cross sessions of the selected structure across a different way, different area of the, of the, of this, uh, of the muscle, uh, include like, like tendon for nerve or even the lymph or blood supply. So, uh, in other, in other than that, the functions icon will be explained to us how the, what kind of, uh, movements to be involved for this muscle. For example, I can just click on any motions that I have here with the list, with the selected muscle. So after that, it will show the movements of this muscle in uh, animations. So um, most of the time that a um, lot of the educator, they will try to use the video to explain the muscle movement, but this is the, uh, they have some kind of limitation if you want to display the motions or even some of the other structures in the different angle. So with the animation we have that you can select the angle that you want to show that uh, you can try to uh, change the angle, the, how you view, and also there'll be list out, uh, others uh, involved muscle will be list out here to be show, uh, during the, the, the animations. So um, this is something very interesting when you come to teaching for the muscular skeleton. And also with the selected muscle, there's some kind of others micro model will be listed out. And the O and I icon will be the inceptions and the origins of the muscle. And now I just, uh, we have the option to show the nerve for the related structure for this muscle. So they have two different ways to the display. So this one is uh, we can use the isolated modes. You can see that only the muscle and the nerve is presented with the basic uh, structure. And we have the highlight modes that which can be shown uh, in more details. Like for example, that we can not, we not only show the nerve, where is the location of the nerve, but also the branches of the nerve to the muscle. So this is a very good way to present to the, stu uh, the student how it could be, uh, what is the relationship between the nerve and the muscle. So this is same to the artery for the blood supply. So I can use the isolated modes to display what kind or what is the blood supply to this muscle and also what is the branches, where is locations of the blood supply, blood vessel to the muscle. So it showed it's so it, it can be able to show the structure in so details and uh, um, in terms of the of the uh for the relation spatial relation between different structure and other than that um, they also that would display different kind of the content in the video mode like the treatment condition for the selected structure yeah so i won't go to the details so and the right hand side that we just can just back to uh the right hand panels here so here we have the hub at the top, it will be it will lead us back to the landing page I, I showed just now, and the second one be search. So the search function is very useful when you want to find some some uh, interested uh, area. For example, I just search the heart. So when I type the name here, it's not only list down that for the structure, but also other relevant content like the video, the screen, all this, uh, the, the pre-made screen that already saved by others uh, in, in the database, and also the quiz and the question for the uh, related to the keyword that I keep, uh, I, 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 for the words that I keen. So you can use the, the, the those is the pre-made screen that just trying to do the edit, or you just, uh, select the structure for yourself and you can do the editing on it. Okay, one of our uh, 
biggest advantage of this complete anatomy is that you have the completely flexibility to edit the content, the structures with the tools that we provide and the right panels here. So here we have the different kind of the options like the pen. Uh, you have the uh, uh, different option for the pen as well. I have the 2D pen. So here I have also have the 3D pen. So the difference of the 2Ds and the 3Ds is that uh, for 3Ds, you, it will remain on the structure like the tattoo. So you can see what something different set. Uh, the 2D pen the drawing will be remain on the screen. And you for the labels, you can just uh, click on any structure on the screen. There the name will be listed. If you want to key in the some of the name in the local language, like in Tagalog, so you just double click the structure, then they'll give you the new label without any description. So here that way you can uh, input your, your own language uh, or, your, or your own description. And the next will be text box. So the text box is allow us to in, in, input some of the descriptions uh, for the related structures that we want to explain in detail. So it's quite similar to the PowerPoint and how we present, but it was it allow us to present the structure in 3D. Okay, so this is something very different. And the next one that I'm going to present is a cut function. So this cut function is very interesting. It's allowed the user to conduct some kind of virtual dissection online. Okay, um, so here we have different option for the cutting. So I have the uh, single layer or multi layer. So I uh, uh, depend on what kind of the requirement they want. So for the single layer, I have the different option to cut through, cut in between, or even the custom custom thread. So here I can just cut the custom thread, uh, stimulate some kind of surgery, and you will see the structure within the uh, within the heart. And if I use the multi selections that uh, multi layer, so I can just select the structure and cut in between. Okay, here that I can allow the beating, the heart to continue beating. Right. So from here I have the three D view, uh, like the cross section view. With the with the cut through function, so it depends on how the how the user want to pre how you want to prepare the content for your teaching purpose or even for your own reference. So you have a lot of the flexibility to 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 edit and do the structures. For example, if I want to fade, uh, I just want to see something in between. I can use a fake structure. It can allow me to see something inside, but I still can see the whole structure overall. Other than that, we have the simulation tools like the fractures that you can just use it to uh, simulate some kind of the crank, the grow to simulate the tumor spurs, or even the pen to simulate the, on the these are uh, uh, some kind of clinical conditions. And definitely, that we have the function to import the image here uh, based on what you need to display to the students here. So I uh, have the X-ray structure, so you can attach the this uh, X-ray image. Uh, a side, uh, beside this uh, screen with the description, then you can use it as the teaching materials that to customize for, uh, prepare for the students. So once you're happy with that, uh, we have the option to export in 2D image here. You can click it and you can select the resolution, then you can export in 2D. And if you also can save the screen remain in 3D structure. So here we have the save screen functions here. We can click save screen, then it will allow us to save the whole structure, whatever the content we have that we edited. So, um, so I can rename and select that. Where should I uh, save this structure? If I can save in my own folder in my screen, or I can just save to the dedicated groups. For example, you want to save for the different uh, group of the students. So you just save there. So no, normally that I will save in my screen before I, I finalize the product, uh, finalize the, uh, the, the screen the content and uh, attach to different area. So when once I save it, they will automatically save and synchronize to the cloud. So I will not worry that, okay, my, my PC that will crack, then I will not find the, this uh, content, but all will be saved, remain on the cloud server. So once I save it, I have the options that next time I can come in, I have the option. You can see the three point here, three point, and there's a few icon. For the dustbin, it's definitely it's for the delete function. And for the pen here, you can continue to edit for on top of the existing screen. So you can continue to edit and try to modify it and, and, and make it perfect before you want to share with the student. Okay, or you can share with the students. Okay, let me back to the previous screen. Okay, so I can replace uh, for the previous screen that I already uh, edit with the new content or new, uh, new description 
Okay. So here that I can, other than that, I have the option to share with the students. So it's very interesting that um, we not only share the content, share whatever the screen with the student in 2D pictures, but we also can share with them with the whole 3D structure. So here I have the, I just click on the pin here to have the option, then I can click on the double page here. So with the sharing function, we actually uh, we have two options. One is that you can copy the this content, the screen, to the particular groups that want to share. So depend that uh, which group or which year of the student, perhaps you have the different year, you want to share with the year two student for this subject, you just you can share with them directly, just click on here and copy the groups. Or if you can just click on the, at the option that to click the link to screen. So once I click it, it will generate the, um, the link what we call is the deep link. So it's something similar to the web link like the URL. So you can share with the students through the email, through the PowerPoint, even through the words file. Once the receivers, the, the one that received this link, what they need that they just need to click on the link itself. Then they will lead them, channel them back to the same screen that you created here. So once they come to here, they can manipulate, they can turn, uh, turn the, models and try to view and try to enhance their understanding so it's a very flexible that what what i always try to mention to the customers that you create something and share in 3d then the student can receive in 3d so this is how beautiful for this platform to allow the student and faculty to inter interact and in, uh, interact uh, uh, within the same platform so it's not only for the lecturers to share the content but the student can also submit their assignments uh, for the for review through the same platform to the same groups, okay. So, um, like what Dr. Julius mentioned just now, the software is so easy to use. So here we have the tips icon. So this is where the the basic user manual, but it's not in the it's all in the video format. So if you have any questions that you want to explore for any function, you just click on here. Then um, there's a video, the short video to try to explain the functions to you. And, and it's very easy for, for the students and also for faculty to pick up uh, with the explanation from the video. So uh, just play with the software for maybe 30 minutes and you can be a very expert like me. So um, don't forget that we will try to provide a trial code, the 30 day trial code after this session, the webinar session. So um, if you don't have uh, any, you, if you want to experience for this software, you don't have, uh, you don't ever try for this software, then uh, don't forget to contact us for the trial code after this session. Okay, so next I will just move to the education function. So this will be more uh, for the faculty. So this is where that the, the lecturers they can create their, their content before the classes for the teaching material, then share with the student. And this is the curriculum manager. This function is only dedicated for the lecturer. The student, they won't see this icon in their, in their landing page. So when I click on the curriculum managers here, they have the two options. One is the lectures, one is the course. So uh, the course is a combination of the few lecture. The few lectures that combine become the course. So it might be possible that if for few lectures, uh, for, for few, educators that they, they teach the different module or the different subject eventually they can combine whatever they teach whatever the material they create and combine become the courses so here i just go to the different groups so i can select which groups that i want to create the content to or i can just uh just select my lectures uh just save on my own folders here so uh here i can just click on the plus icon to start the new uh new lecture so here i can just type in the, the title and try to upload the image then after that i can start to add the resources i can start to add the resources and for here that for the educator for the you for the lecturer uh, the for the faculty license you have the you can access for all the content available okay uh available in in reading the, this uh software so include the screen the video the quizzes so uh, you can combine not only the screen but also some of the video um, to help you to explain the the lectures uh, to the students or even you want to end up with the some of the quiz so it's also uh, available so here that i just start with the some of the screen with all groups then i can select that which area that i want to teach uh, or, or, or which area about uh, my lecture about so i just select all model here, I can just 
content. I can or I can just from here I can try to browse through that to find a suitable content or even some of the content I created before. So I can just drag and drop here. So if you have any, you want to find a content in, in some kind of shortcut, you can just type in here, then all the content will be listed out with the related, uh, with the name that you key in. So all the structure that related to heart will be listed out. So it's very easy to just drag and drop here. Okay, the next one that uh, once you have the sum of screen, you want you are interested, you want to input some of the video here, you also can click on the videos here. So there will be all the content with the heart of uh, the video. So you can just drag and drop. So if you think this is suitable and suit to your, uh, and, 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 and this one you, you want to share with the students, then you can just use it. Use it. And eventually that you can want to end up, uh, end this session or, or this uh, module with the quiz. And so same thing, you can just search the quizzes uh, based on the name, then you can just drop on that. Once you think that the, the content is fine, you're happy with that, you can just save the lecture. Before you save the lecture, you can just, um, uh, just, Type in whatever the description you want. You want to share with the, uh, the, the, the first year student. So we just save and save everything here. Once you're happy, the lecture will be created. Okay, the lecture will be created. Once you, uh, the file is created, you can share with the students um, and, and ask them to read uh, before they attend to the class. So it will be helpful to increase the, the effectiveness of learnings. Um, through this kind of the pre, uh, pre classes and lectures. So they have some kind of basic idea. So how we can share with the students, we just click here, the three point here, there's a play function. Okay, play icon here, we click it, they will play the content or you can click the double page. Here is a way you can just share with the groups of the students or just copy the link and share with the students. And they, when they receive, they know that, okay, this is something I need to read, I need to prepare, then come back before they come to the class. So, um, here, this is what we can do for the for, for the lectures. Once you create few lectures, you want to create your own courses, it's also possible that you just go to the different kind of the groups. For example, you want to create groups uh, among the educators for faculty, you can start to have the courses and put all the content, uh, that screen that you already created um, among the, uh, uh, the user, then you can just whatever the lectures you have and share among this group. So it's just that how we can combine the lectures, right? You can just click here and create a new lectures and select it from your resources. So it's very easy to combine the resources and, and consolidate all the, uh, the effort from the, all the lectures to become one complete courses for the whole year student. So it's kind of, it's kind of the idea that we, we, we make the teaching more effective we take the teaching more effective. Okay, here that I just try to highlight another functions about this, uh, uh, what is the content? How is the content will be look like? So here I can just go back to the lectures, right? I just try to search my screen. Okay, here I just create some kind of the content here. I, when I click on it, I can just uh, play. I can just try to play. So um, the difference that when you're using the play mode in the lectures, you prepare everything in advance, the screen will be more simplified. Okay, it'll be more simplified and, and you can, students can understand easily from the screen. So for the 3D model, it's still allowed for manipulate, but all the uh, editing, the screen that I already created is on top of the, the screen content here, right? So I image, import the image. So I have the pointer to highlight during my classes or even the labels, right? To, to help me to explain that for the structure. So I can explain with the, this kind of the, uh, like the damage of the valve in the, in, in the vessel. So this is something that I created before. So I understand that most of the time that we will use the editing mode for teaching, but for presentation mode in this way, it will be more effective and, and try to keep the student attention, especially come to online teaching because the student will lose the attention within just one minute that if, when you are still editing, you try to figure out how to use the, con use the structure. So with the lecture prepared in advance, it will help to reduce this kind of the problem. So I just go to the next screen, then with like normal PowerPoint, present to the students. So during the sessions, I still can 
try to click on each label to help me to explain what is the structure, then all the this descriptions that it can be it can be used. So it's kind of the way we can transfer the PowerPoint presentations to this uh, complete anatomy platform. Uh, this same way you do the presentation to the students, but it will help you with the 3D model during the explanation. So uh, this is the function of how the, the, the lectures could be held. Yeah. So this uh, for this create uh, function for create a lecture is only available for the faculty license. Yeah. So here I also can type on some of the description. Uh, about the le lectures that I want to teach, or I just I can also hide the labels, then try to show the student and ask them to name the structure uh, during the classes. All right, so this is how it will be easy when you prepare the lectures in advance. Okay, yeah. So uh, here, okay. So after that, we also have the one functions that. To guide you how to create a group. So this is where the sharing. You can create a group with a plus icon here. Give the name and manage group member. How you can group the manage group member is that you just type in the name, or uh, you type the email address that register the user register. Then you can invite them for as a group member. Once you create a group, you just share the content through the. Uh, through this platform, they will receive the notification to ask them to view the content. So it's very straightforward and opens a concept for the sharing purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for the others contents like like the content library, I think that it will be great that if you can, you have the trial code, uh, you can try to explore by yourself. That here I just try to mention what kind of the content that we have. So we have the courses. We have the different kind of the courses. Right. Uh, for the students to for self study, so the one of the most popular courses is the undergraduate human anatomy, right? So we have the various of the courses across the different area, and the, at last, at last, it will be all the screen that you created or pre uh in the content library. You can use it and try to edit on top of that for your own uh, purpose, or you just use it and plug it and for your own teaching. So it's a lot of flexibility and there's a lot of area they can just use a filter or use a search uh, functions to try to uh, find the relevant structure, uh, the, the content that you want. Or the models, then for the models, we continue to improve or the num the increase the numbers of the micro model. So this is where that every half year, every six months, we will have a new micro models to add on uh, in the content library. So it means that every six months or even one year that you will have the new feature, new content to be updated. And the videos will be all the videos that related to the uh, different across different topics like cardio, orthopedics. So also the basic uh, human anatomy. So, so uh, it will be helpful if uh, to just try to include uh, some of the videos during the teaching to, to make the classes uh, help you to un uh, explain the structure, uh, the, the, the lectures uh, more e easier. Or for the lectures that actually say you can also upload the videos by yourself. If you think that you have the relevant videos that will be good for you, then um, it's still for the educator license that is, is possible to upload the video. And the last one, we have the new radiology function. This is very, really, very really useful for the clinical year student, like year four or, or year four students before they go for the uh, professional's career. So it will help them to interpret the X-ray image from 2Ds and to the 3Ds model. So I, any structure that I selected, it will be the relevant structure will be highlighted. So for to help the student understand the structure, X-ray image in the 3D space. So I can also hide the pin for the for, to test the student knowledge. And here also have the short description about this technique to be used, what kind of preparation, what techniques are uh, being used for this imaging. So it will be def definitely be helpful for the students that to understand about the radiology. So across, there will be five, five types of the uh, image available. So we have a CT, uh, angiogram, X-ray, uh, mammogram, so we and also MRI, right? So this is um, when you have this, Transfer the trial code. Feel free to try to play along with this uh, software with the, this radiology image. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all from my side for the demo. So if you have any questions about the demonstrations, that feel free. Then um, we will try to answer your questions. Uh, yep. Joe. Thank you very much, Alex. 
uh, since we're still at the demo, I'll be uh, discussing the questions that are related to the platform itself. So there is a question here from uh, Arifin Soingono. Can we see the function of the supra, uh, supraspinous muscle during abduction of the shoulder? I see, func I see the function deltoid and trapezi trapezius only during those movements. Okay, so uh, here that you can just try to search for the muscle that you want, and you can try to uh, just try to back to the patch. So just go to the muscles that you want here, then you can just select the structure. Right from here, they will show you the nerve, the structure, or if you can't see it, you know, you can also try to search for, with the name. Here, you can search the structure by yourself. Sorry, uh, yeah. So this is how we can find the, the nerve structure, the the the, the structure uh, in the model in the three D model. Yep. So uh, we is the is the supraspinous muscle? Uh, can you do a search just to provide a Supra... example? Yep. Okay. Let me try to search for the supraspinous function. Yep. There. Uh, so they have the muscle, they have the tissues here. So this is the muscle that we have. Yeah. So when I have this, I just choose the nerve structure, then the chart to highlight what is the nerve for this muscle. Yeah. It's very straightforward. How about the movement, Alex? Uh, the movement? Okay. So when I just have the movement, just back to the, the screen here, then you just try to uh, use it structure. Sorry, I need to. Okay, there's a motion here. We can use it to show the movement of the of the selected structure. Yeah, you can see that uh, in any angle, you, know, you want to stop in any time. Uh, and also here, they have no list up for others master. Great. Okay, so there's a question here from Mr. Jalino Elgin Ubalde, uh, but this was answered by Dr. Julius already, but I, let's just discuss it as a group. Was the anatomy department responsible in scheduling the anatomy curriculum or the anatomy department was assisted by Elsevier in synchronizing the activities of the DLSU curriculum with a complete anatomy application. Does Elsevier provide service to synchronize the anatomy department curriculum with the features of the app? So uh, Dr. Julius uh, did respond to this question already. Uh, uh, yeah. So this question is for Dr. Julius? <laughs> Yeah, based as I answered a while ago, uh, the complete anatomy or Elsevier just provided us with uh, the application, but it is the responsibility of our institution to design our own curriculum. So uh, we are doing our curriculum independently. Okay. Yeah. So um, because that for complete anatomy is a universal um, products that used by the various um, a lot of countries, so it's the kind of the like like common uh, platforms. So uh, we don't really that at this moment that it, we try to suit for the each curriculums, but it's uh, it still depend on the the customers that uh, about what they are expecting or, or what kind of the curriculum they have. Even that for each university, they have the, also have the different curriculum in, in, in for the major curriculum, yes, but for details, they might also have the different kind of the requirement. So it's based on the individual customers, how they want to uh, synchronize this to their curriculum. So some that they might think using the motion, uh, motions that will be helping for them. Some they just want to show in a different way with the uh, um, different structures. So they have the different way to, to allow for, for the presentation uh, to present to the students, but it depends on how individuals customers want. 
Okay, yeah. So here I have the question from Sarah. So um, are the quiz uh, really uh, re ready available? So actually, uh, uh, in the complete anatomy, we have uh, the database for the quizzes. So there's uh, all these quizzes is pre method So you can choose it. You can you can you can use it for your own uh, teaching purpose. But uh, here. We also have uh, here, I just try to filter to show the quizzes here. So we have the different kind of the quizzes uh, of the qu or, or questions that are available. So all these available and also they have a different kind of the, uh, level. So sometimes intermediate, sometimes the difficult. So depend on the on the user needs. But if you think that you, you want to uh, edit the, the structures, edit the quiz on top of this content, yes, you're still allowed to do that. So you just use the template of the quizzes. You just try to go to the question. Okay. You try to go to the question, then edit. The questions with your own language or own own question, or even try to edit on top of the structure that uh, according to your what you need. So this is flexible, and and you can do that with the on complete anatomy. Okay, yeah. Joe, any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, there's uh, an additional question from Sarah. Ow, uh, you are sharing. This is uh, related to your presentation regarding uh, lessons earlier. Uh, are you sharing more than one way of teaching? Does the platform allow two-way communication with the student? Yeah. So for this one that um, the student can also, once they, you create a group for the students, so what they do that they can submit the assignment, the screen that, that, that they create and send back to the same groups that you created. So uh, this is where you can interact with the students, right? So for normally, uh, like for example, during the online teaching set, they can use it software for the teaching using the team, using the Zoom. So sometimes the student, they, if they have the, the software, they just, you just ask them to share the screen that with what they are learning. So this is something uh, right now that's more on the integration, but within the platform, we don't have the live interaction because this is something um, should be done by the those is the meeting software, but we are on the anatomy software and, and the content Definitely, can, you can share with the student, they can send back. But for the live interactions, um, they might not suitable on, on complete anatomy. I hope I answer, an, answer your question. Yeah. Okay, so um, also, we can, you can also monitor the performance of the students, right? Uh, after you have the, you can share with them the quiz, they answer, then send back to you. We have the dashboard function, the student assessment dashboard functions, which I, I have no time to explain in detail. So from there, you can know their engagement with this, of each student, how is the result of their quiz, did they read through the, all the, the material they sent to them. So all can be traced and, and will be, you, you, can share, you can monitor their, uh, their progress. And the good news is that we are are now uh, trying to complete the integration of the complete anatomy in the LMS. Like for example, the, the, in the LSS, uh, the LSS, you are using the, this Moodle. So we are trying to complete the, the integration. So it means that in the LMS, in the, in by end of the year, so in the, within the school LMS system, you can also upload the CA result to the LMS system and you can continue, you can access uh, complete anatomy directly from LMS system. So this is something that we are doing on, uh, uh, our team is working now. So hopefully that we can, we can launch it uh, soon in the next, next version. Thanks, Alex. There's another question from As uh, Asela Barroso. Uh, to Alex, I saw there is a radiology application and I, I think you've, you were able to showcase the radiology uh, feature uh, of complete anatomy. Can we see a sample of the cross-sectional imaging anatomy in your platform? But I, I believe you, you've been able to show that. Right. Yeah. So uh, here that we have the radiology. So you just choose that. For example, this is a MRI. So this is a cross section for the for different part of the body uh, for the race. So uh, here I can just let me try to. Okay. Here, there's a different way that we can show in a different structure with the with the uh, with the 3D structure here. So all the structure that you selected will be highlighted. Okay, will be highlighted. So you can move to the different pictures, different area for continue to monitor, to, to, to correlate with what actually is that uh, reflect on the, this uh, X-ray image, right? So it might, 
display on a different way. Then you must hidden. So it's, it's where that you can help the, the student can use it for the MRI, for the CT scan. Yeah. Okay. Yep. The question. Thanks, Alex. Uh, so there's like a feedback here from J James Wickham. Uh, seems like complete anatomy platform could replace a PowerPoint platform for teaching anatomy in a lecture theater. At the moment, I use PowerPoint as the main platform and segue to complete anatomy when I need a better look at structures uh, that I can't get from textbook images. Seems to be working uh, well. Yeah. Thanks for the feedback, James. So yeah, for definitely that is is yeah, it's very common that uh, the lecturers using the PowerPoint for teaching for presentation. So um, definitely you can you can you can try to use the complete anatomy that try to use it as a presentation platform. Yeah. So it's quite similar to PowerPoint and and also they can show show in the 3D structure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Another question uh, from Axel Elises. Do you have 3D of act? cadavers within the complete anatomy platform uh you mean the actual cadaver yep uh, like a 3d model of a, an actual cadaver yeah so for the complete anatomy we are working on the we restructure everything in the in the this uh what we call the 3d structure with the uh like like kind of the software so for us we have the we have the courses we call the cadaver image. So we will correlate that for this, uh, uh, for the cadaver image, but we, uh, with the 3D model, okay, but we don't have the 3D model because that, um, the, the purpose of the complete anatomy is try to overcome some kind of the limitations, uh, like for example, for cadaver. Uh, sorry. So, here we have the image of the cadaver image, right? Uh, like muscle, like spine, uh, together side by side with the 3D model. Okay, so, but we don't have the, we, do, we don't work on the actual cadaver, right? It's, it's kind of that we don't try to replace because that the cadaver dissection is still the golden standard for the anatomy teaching. So it's for complete anatomy is kind to enhance the learning rather than to replace it. So, um, so here you can see we have the 2D image and with the uh, 3D structure as side, but we don't have the actual cadaver. Okay, Alex, I think we have time for one more question. Um, and this question again is uh, coming from uh, Sarah. Uh, what is the difference of complete anatomy? How do we differentiate complete anatomy with our uh, other competitors in the 3D anatomy space, uh, namely anatomage and primal pictures? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for this question. So, um, definitely that for every product, they have their own feature. But for us, that we are very proud with that. Um, our flexibility is that um, uh, for for, to allow the, uh, the the user to edit the content is some kind of the, our strength. So the user that can do a lot of the editings on top of uh, on the models, right? So it's not fixed at a certain module. For example, some um, tools they are using, like they, are, they have the limitation to for editing. For example, they only can hide or fade some certain part or whole structure. They're not able to have the cuttings or even have the stimulations tools. And also for some kind of the uh, user interface, it's uh, so easy. So we do have the, the, uh, the customer to convert from our competitor to complete anatomy. Just after they try to use our software, they can know that how this software is really helpful for them actually come to online teaching. Uh, I don't say that they are not good products, but they have some kind of limitation. For example, the, uh, one of the, uh, our 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 competitor, they're limited with the dissection table, which is um, same like the cadaver lab, but you can't have the lab everywhere uh, for the student to assess. So, um, so for the complete anatomy, it's a uh, app-based solutions that can, the student can assess for the anatomy structure anywhere, anytime with their own device. So um, there's, that, that's the 
one of the big difference between us and another platform. Yeah. Joe? Okay, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, we don't have enough time to, and to go through all the questions. Uh, with that, uh, we can end the session. Again, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Julius, for accommodating our request. And thank you very much for all the participants that joined the session. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank you.